Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be replacing the rear shocks on a 96 Infiniti G20. The only difference between this car and my Infiniti G20 is that you need to remove the back seats. Now if you guys take a look at the back seat, there is a little hook right here that you need to remove from right here. You just need to lift up and then it'll come off. There's also one right here, one over there which corresponds to these guys right here. That's the only difference, but everything else is pretty much the same. Right here, we have access to the rear strut mount. So that's how you would remove it. Well, let's go ahead and actually remove the wheels out of the way so that we can remove the rear shocks. Now that we have the wheel off, we have access to some of the things that we need to remove. The first thing that we're gonna remove is this guy. This is the rear stabilizer link. There's a size uh, 14 millimeter nut on this side and on this side. What you need to do is get a wrench on this side and then remove it from over here. You have to hold it steady because it's just gonna spin. So just go ahead and remove that. Next, what we need to remove is this ABS cable right here. There should be a 10 millimeter nut right here holding it down. On this particular car, I think it broke off so we just have it zip tied. So just get some pliers and take that out. And just move that out to the side. Next, what we need to remove is this guy out of the way. This holds down the um, brake line. So just get a flathead and put it on the corner and get a hammer and then just hammer it out. Now go ahead and pull this to the rear and then push out. Next, let's go ahead and remove these two fasteners right here. Once you remove these guys out of the way, the bottom of the suspension is gonna wanna fall down. So what you guys should do is get a jack underneath and then support this so it doesn't fall too hard. And then um, you also wanna be careful with your brake line. Now I've done this in the past and then it should be enough slack right here so that it doesn't put too much strain on the brake line. But it's always a good idea to put the jack underneath so that the brake line doesn't uh, potentially tear. So we're just gonna use the jack to support it up a little bit. You don't need to pick up the whole car, just enough to support. All right, now let's go ahead and remove these guys out of the way. These are both gonna be a size 17 millimeter. So right here we have the nut, we don't have access to it. So we're just gonna put the um, wrench on this side and then we're gonna remove it from this side. To get it off completely, go ahead and get a hammer or a flathead and then just tap it out. Now we'll go ahead and remove the bottom one right here. Now that we have removed pretty much everything out of the way, the only thing holding the strut on is the top fasteners right here. So these are 14 millimeters. Go ahead and remove them. 
As you guys remove them, what you want to do is hold the strut so it doesn't come crashing down on the suspension. Now we're going to remove these guys out of the way. Like I said before, these are 14 millimeters. Once your nut is almost all the way out, go ahead and uh, get your socket and then get your other hand and support the shock from the bottom so it doesn't fall. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and uh, compress the spring right here so we can get the shock out. now. When you guys are doing this, it's always important to get this type of spring compressor, the one that has the safety pin right here. If you don't get these, it can be very dangerous when you guys are doing this job and the spring can come off of here and potentially hurt you. Basically what we're doing here is we're going to be placing the spring compressor at a point where it's not going to come in contact with the top metal hat. And then we're going to place this guy not too low as well, so maybe like somewhere around here. So we're going to go ahead and... Just pull the safety pin and just uh, put it on here like that. Now that we have it in, we're going to pop this open like this and we're going to align the two compressing uh, pins together. And then what we're going to do here is just screw it all the way in and then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So I forgot to mention a very important thing. Before you guys remove the spring out of here, what you want to always do is get a white marker and what you want to do is just line up everything. So put a mark on top of the strut mount and then do the same thing to each uh, of the spring and on the bottom of the shock absorber right here. This is going to allow you for, um, for you to always have it correctly aligned. If these guys are off, it's not going to fit in there right and you're going to have to take this whole thing off. So make sure to do this, it's very important. On some cars you don't have to do this because the top spins off but on some of them the top is fixed so you're not going to be able to spin it off. So always make sure to do this before you compress the spring. When you're doing this make sure that you go from side to side so that um, the socket doesn't get stuck on top of right here. If you don't go side to side, you're gonna find it that you're not gonna be able to remove your socket. Okay, so as you guys can see, we did too much on this side and then our socket got stuck, so. So just go side to side so you guys can avoid that. Now that we have compressed the spring, we're able to move it. So that is gonna let us know that the spring is no longer pushing on the shock absorber. So it should be safe enough to remove this guy out of the way. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this nut out of the way. We're using an impact gun to remove it. Sometimes you can't get it off like that. Sometimes you do need to hold this top um, pin right here, but we're gonna go ahead and try it with the impact. All right, so we actually got it off with the impact gun. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this out of the way. And then we're gonna remove the top of the strut mount right here. All right, now you should be able to pull this out of the way. All right guys, so we have the replacement shock right here on the right. We're gonna put everything back together. The installation is pretty much the opposite of the removal. So we're gonna go ahead and speed through it.
Guys, so it is the next day. We finished installing the rear shocks on the Infinity G20. Everything came out pretty good. I didn't show you guys how to do the front ones since it's basically the same as my 2000 Infinity G20. I'll leave the link down there for you guys so you can check it out. If you guys did like the video though, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.